Hello guys and welcome back to my world of mini wind turbines. As promised, I'm introducing today my latest creation. I call it Trackstar. Trackstar uses two 45 degree angled deflectors that help the mini wind turbine find and stay pointed directly into the wind. Right now we're not getting much wind because uh, Trackstar is only about four and a half feet off the ground in an area full of homes where there's uh, a lot of wind being moved around in different directions at different times. But I want to show you a closer look at how Trackstar works and maybe while we're doing this presentation, you'll see what happens when a gust of wind comes through and uh, activates Trackstar. Right now, it's maybe one mile per hour wind at this point, and Trackstar is trying to find the strongest wind so it can point in the direction and stay. I was asked if I've uh, exposed any of my turbines to the elements, and uh, I haven't, but uh, that was a good question and it made me think. I have a NEMA 23 installed on Trackstar, I'll show you that. And it's under a weather cover. There she is. The cover is specially designed just to fit this unit. And it's installed in a way that uh, it doesn't come off very easily and when it's permanently installed or near permanently installed, it will be installed with RTV. Here goes a gust of wind. And there's the radio. But you can see that didn't last very long. That's, that, ba uh, that radio takes six D cell batteries. And as uh, we showed you earlier in another video, the batteries have been removed and alligator clamps have been uh, installed where the batteries would make positive and negative contact. Because the NEMA 23 is generating AC, <clears throat> there's our uh, filtering device to convert the AC to DC. When the wind blows, Trackstar easily lights this license plate that my son designed when he was 14 years old. He's 18 now and in college. It's lighting up, but you can barely tell because we're outside. I should do this indoors, but I can't generate enough wind to make Trackstar work. What's inside of that uh, license plate, and it goes on the front of your car. Uh, I'm sorry if you don't like the Indianapolis Colts. We're not really sports fans. We just like the attention that it gets when you drive down the street and this thing lights up. That's what's inside. 648 LEDs at 22,000 MCD each. And again, MCD is the measurement of luminous, luminescence that uh, the LEDs put out when they're uh, fully glowing. Now if you hold on a second, I'm gonna take a break here and try to uh, get Windstar to operate both the license plate, light up license plate, that's legal here in Indiana, and the radio. I think we're getting a gust of wind, here we go. The radio's trying to start, but the wind just won't stay on long enough. Trackstar uh, unloaded with no radio or anything attached, only needs a uh, four mile an hour wind to get uh, maximum rotation. But because it has two loads on it right now, it needs at least seven mile an, uh, per hour winds. I'm not getting that constantly, but when it does, we get a lot of free music and light at the same time, free electricity. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe I'll do it again one day when, when there's some true wind blowing in this neighborhood, and you'll really get to, there she goes. You'll really get an understanding of what's happening here. 
There she goes. So if you will, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I believe this is my last one, but who knows? I'm, I see now in my mind a much more powerful miniature wind turbine. And uh, if I get one more vision of this thing in my head, I probably will end up making it. Thanks for watching my videos and have a very nice day. Goodbye.